What up YouTube, you're by The Flying Spinner here. Today we've got a model unboxing and review. Uh, today's model is the JC Wings Middle Eastern Airways A321 Neo. I nearly said A320 Neo then, but that's wrong. Um, the one we have is the standard livery. Uh, I believe JC Wings are releasing the 10,000 Airbus family model as well. As you can see down here, that's what we got. So on the front of the box, nice detail. Uh, kind of got the Middle Eastern colours, uh, A321 Neo, MEA, the pictures of the front of the plane, nice perspective, they haven't just gone with a straight picture of the plane, a uh, nice little bit different there. Uh, this is the one we have, so the registration is Tango 7 dash me, oh, so me, um, Mike Echo India, MEA, then this is the other one you can get, which I think is coming out soon side which you see JC rings release and on the back all kinds of little bits of detail I love the JC wings boxes um, they're awful they're great for collectors because you can get loads of them uh, and it takes up like the space of two Gemini 320 boxes it's great um, I love manufacturers that have made their boxes smaller for the aircraft their beluga model which I've also got and I'm also doing an unboxing review of um, that one's massive compared to the thing, but it's a big plane, so it's kind of understandable. So, let's crack this open and uh, let's get this under the way. So, if you're watching this after the Sunwings one, it's all the same. Um, they have, they've started putting these little bits of uh, polystyrene cloth on the bottom, which is nice. Uh, keeps the models together and overall they're kind of bulking up the packaging, so even if like you crush the box it doesn't affect the model at all which is a great thing i to be honest i'm awful for box crushing how i have my models in the tub and um, they do get squished quite a bit it's only by me forcing them in so as far as where i initially did the unboxing of all of these models i'd had a quick browse and couldn't see any issues with this one escape just managed to get out the box all good so what I'm going to do, as I did with the last model I've reviewed, I shall put the model on top of the box because that actually leads a nice, um, nice stand. So let's do this. Overall, first initial look at the aircraft, very nice. I really enjoy the new livery, well, the livery MEA have opted for the uh, 321 Neos. See them in Heathrow all the time. Um, I see the 330 as well. Uh, that's also a nice livery. I'm also surprised someone hasn't released that. Um, yeah, it's a very nice livery. I do enjoy it. I like the uh, the blue and the red. I think it goes quite well. So if we start off with the front, we have... So it seems to be most airlines now are opting to get the... What are they? The Raccoon... Um, the Raccoon uh, windows, so they've got like the bandana over the, the windows, which looks really cool, suits really well, they bought it in with a 350, um, I just think it generally looks really nice, um, kind of hides the windows a bit-ish. Um, underneath the windows we've got the static port, A321 Neo and the Sky Team logo, as you can hear, uh, Manchester on 05, so this seems to be a, a, a second run of the day departure time, so there's loads of movements going about, so you're going to hear quite a bit of aircraft noise in these reviews that you're going to be watching, hopefully watching anyway, in the uh, future. So we've got the Sky Team logo, the door, uh, got the VA, Ford VHF antenna, uh, the MEA logo, which is really nice and crisp, like the tree itself, really nice, de nicely detailed. Um, I don't know why their logo is a tree, I don't know if anyone in the comments can like incite me is Lebanon Lebanon I can't see it say um have they got like a cedar tree something along those lines uh, have they got any links to that are they like the original place of the cedar tree um then onto the engine so you can really see in the camera you can just about see it in person there's quite a bit of kind of like gap on the engine inlet um probably because it's so big and it's just how it's fitted in I'm not really worried too much. You're not really going to see it, especially in airport updates. Um, they've done the green inside the engine, which is good for the Pratt Whitney and uh, 1100s, PGs, whatever they're called. Um, nice detail on it. Got the Neo badge. Got loads of little markings and warnings and 
panels and all stuff onto the wings themselves. The winglets have all oh, the sorry, 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 sharklets, um, correctly coloured. And if we go on the other side, uh, the inside of the winglet has like the Lebanon flag, uh, which is once again like the, the red and white with the uh, tree in the middle. It's very nice, it really suits the winglet that. I do enjoy it. Uh, the only thing I can criticise about the decal or the uh, the stripe itself, which you can really ob obviously see on the camera there. Um, once again, it's like what happened with the Tui one. They've done like an overlap of D. Um, there's like an overlap. Um, so I think that's kind of made a little dark patches. Um, but not really much, as I say. You can't really notice it in photos and everything, so it's all good. Oh, there goes a Tui 7-8. I wonder where that's off to. Um, so... Then onto the rear, I think they've got Wi-Fi in their aircraft, hence the massive dome. Uh, it's quite good for JC Wings to include that. Um, got the Middle Eastern Airlines title behind. Then at the back, oh, what are you doing? I think she's trying to take a fly. Uh, then at the back, we've got the L for the rear door and the registration T7 MEI with the nice tail up there as well so if you dare jump on top of that that is gonna go oh there she comes <laughs> jesus bloody kitten all right spin it around pretty much all the same on the other side with the cargo doors as you can see very nice very nice very nice if you can get this model i think panda are releasing one as well so you are kind of a nice variety on the underbelly uh, we've got the MEA logo, then little details, antennas, bits and bobs. Wings are nicely detailed. Um, they're not overly obvious, but they're obvious enough. Um, the engines are nice. They've got, of course, warnings and all the latches and stuff on them. And gear doors are modelled. So that pretty much sums up this model review unboxing kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you uh, found it useful. As I said, if you can pick up this model, I'd fully recommend it. Um, and be sure to check out my upcoming model unboxings, reviews, and airport updates. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll have a good day. Speak to you in the next video. Adios, and goodbye.